All right, let's get back to work. Now we're just going to load stuff up on YouTube. I went to go look at the stuff to activate the damn phone. And you go to uh, the... I got... The card is simple. Yeah, it didn't go and... It, it's a real pain in the ass to try to activate these things. I might try it again and go to Facebook. I don't know. I'm just, It's agitating. And I think it's... Um, it's dehumanizing, okay, to have us go through little codes to go into public arenas to speak truthfully. You know, and when someone is truthful and faithful and kind and courageous, and he has to go through, you know, you have to go buy a card and open up a phone number and then have to go through. Well, it's just, it's just wrong. You know, they had this thing on the Olympics today and the. This lady from Canada was singing, and they were all talking about how great it is and what adversity she's been through. And I'm like, what fucking adversity has she been through? Okay. She spent her whole life using her talents to make herself ridiculously wealthy, entertaining people that are psychotic and mass genocidal. And their money keeps her rich and famous. What adversity has she been through? She's put herself through her own adversity. Yeah. Now, if you weren't using your talents... Okay, to sing for the devil and Satan's money. And you were just singing to try to set people free like King David out in the streets and myself on YouTube. Then, then I, yeah, I've been through some damn diversity, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But there's not a damn person in the world. No, a professional. That's like adversity. Adversity. Okay. You'll, you'll fight and kill over a paycheck to entertain people that are genocidal that have their fake ass money that murders people and uses technology to perpetuate that murder. And then you have a disease, you're, you're, you're abused, you injured yourself. Somebody in your family died in a car crash because they accept extortion too. What fucking adversity have you been through? It's not adversity. You, you volunteered to fuck and be fucked. That's not adversity. Adversity is like what King David had to face, Jesus had to face, what I've had to face. Okay, I've rejected them at every turn. No, I don't want your fame. I don't want your celebrity. I don't want to fight other people over money. I don't want to use my talents to kiss ass and join the temple, set Illuminati, and get their money. And you know, I told them I ordered. Here's what you're going to do to keep me comfortable till this thing shifts. And they're no, join our. I ain't joining the fucking temple, set Illuminati. Fuck you. Okay. You either live the Lord's Prayer, or I'm eventually going to get that technology that you use to murder other people to stop and eliminate you. All right. I got kicked off you, Facebook for talking this way. You know, you go against our community standards. I'm going against your fucking community standards. Are you fucking serious? And that's why with this stuff, you know, the phone and all these jumping through hoops and shit like that. I like David Rockefeller and the French people from... The Paris summits and stuff can all go fuck themselves. You know, I, I'm, I've given people the opportunity to help themselves by using proper thoughts, linguistics, and actions to uh, use technology to save people from genocide and save the planet from genocidal operations. I, I, I've, I've busted my hump. I've been through more adversity than any of you assholes on fucking TV. Oh, that adversity. Adversity, my ass. You are a putz. You are a selfish, pathetic putz. Okay, and if you don't think you are, you need to shove your head right back up Kobe Bryant, LeBron James's ass, because that's where their head was always at. And that's where Kobe Bryant died with his head up his ass. You guys all talk about what a great guy he was. He wasn't a great guy. He was an asshole. Okay, Kobe Bryant was an asshole, and all you people on TV wearing designer clothes, doing shit for money, are just as big of an asshole as old Kobe Bryant, and you have no position to say what an asshole he was. I do. Okay? Stupid asses. Okay? And then they're reloading the cartel murdering fuckers here. They, they captured the human traffic asshole, the Lopez asshole that, that, that does human trafficking here in Cruces. They captured El Chapo's, uh, uh, you know, uh, sperm donation to a murdering bitch with El Mayo, Pickle Pio, you know, and then they had the guy up there, well, he's also been, um, you know, he's been, you know, he's also sneezed in public and also uh, picked his own boogers and ate them, smelt his own farts, and uh, chewed his toenails. Those are another of the offenses committed by this guy. You know, that, that's what they might as well be saying. 
on TV, the asshole in DC? Can you live the truth? Can you use technology to share truth, to save children from being distracted and participating in, the, in, the, in environmental destruction and mass murder? Well, then who are you to get up and say, what an asshole this El Mayo little pecker what piece of shit is? Okay, You created him. Okay? And he ain't even in the room with Tupac Secure. You know, Tupac Secure saying, no, you in the United States, you made, you made me. You made him into an angry kid who didn't want to participate in your bullshit, and he called you on your crap, so you murdered him. Okay? And now you guys have turned him into a T-shirt sale shop and a movie sale shop and everybody, you know, making money off of him trying to say, hey, let's stop doing this shit. Well, you guys are assholes. Did with my Keith Elam and... <laughs> You Tupac, you know, two best hip hoppers that ever lived, and you guys you won't even talk about. It. Nobody talks about Guru, because they're all scared shitless. Uh, that, that that man got killed because he 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 talked too much. Uh, you know, um, when he left Gangstar, he got away from the street culture bullshit, and he started doing stuff that was more critical of corporate um, corruption. Uh, and then it became very difficult for him to navigate through it. And it was hard for him to trust people. And I'm pretty sure the kid he was working with probably went in with good intent saying, we can do this, and then went, oh, fuck. Okay, <laughs> the solar kid. This is fucked, right? And his nephew didn't quite understand what was going on. He's a good kid, though. He's a very good kid. His nephew that made those videos after Keith died and all the shenanigans that were going on with the economics and the bullshit. He's a good kid. Yeah. No, Keith told me that in prayer. You know, he called him the king. And go go see the king and see Justin. And yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he's a good kid. And um, uh, he really loves his nephew very much. You know, and um, and life is eternal and grace is infinite. So that love ain't going nowhere. Okay, it's, it's always going to be here. And uh, that's one thing I wanted to get across to a lot of you is that, you know, Life is eternal and grace is infinite. Okay. And so truth, as Hellish Lassie taught, you know, truth will always eliminate lie because truth is evident, right? And so as long as, as truth is evident, you know, all us lovers are lovers and all the liars are liars, and that's the way it's always going to be. And uh, they're... they're um, Life is eternal and grace is infinite. So, but grace doesn't, God doesn't, glory of grace doesn't sit there and go, oh, punish you, do that. We're given natural lies by the glory of God. When we understand and observe those natural laws, we sustain what's needed for love and kindness and caring and, and, and virtue and honor and respect and dignity. If we deny those laws, we become an abomination to the very gift of our lives. Okay. Is that understandable, Mrs. Aflac? You got cute kids. <laughs> really like her kids. I really like that Sam Affleck kid, too. He's funny. <laughs> it's got a good sense of humor. The girls are a little distracted, but they're cute. Yeah, they're cute. But it's the same like with Alex Rodriguez. I, I really dug his daughters. Okay, But I've seen these people will sit there and, and um, use their kids as, you know, shields from technology because the other person's raising worse kids than they are. And their money's just a tad bit better than the other asshole's money. And I'm like, what, what the hell's wrong with these people? Don't ask. Don't ask, don't tell. Right? <laughs> just don't ask, don't ask what's wrong. Or don't tell what's wrong. Because if you, if you don't understand them, okay, you don't have to. But most people are affected by brain chemical addiction that they've inherited over thousands of years of bad brain activity. Bad thoughts, bad language, thinking you can get away with stuff. And you don't get away with stuff. When you do something bad and you do something wrong and selfish, it perpetuates wrong, selfish, and bad, and then and it causes wrong thinking, then wrong language, and wrong action, like Judy Krishnamurti talked about, right? And D.T. Suzuki, and Hela Selassie, and then, of course, myself, right? And so, but this whole adversity thing, this is bullshit, you know? Slain Dion has got an ego problem, just like the rest of you assholes. And she needs to be honest with herself and say, I need to stop my fucking ego problem because the stress and the disease and the things that we connect to and relate to to keep us all suffering and accepting uh, torture and disease and murder as reality, which it's not. Okay, we can have long, like Helis Lassie told me, we can have long, healthy lives from cradle to grave. 
just every each and every one of us unless somebody just gets old time selfish something goes wrong in the brain we have to go what's the matter with the dude okay he wanted to put on a show in paris to show what a uh, attention seeking asshole he was stop that shit you know it's better to sing in a garage with your family that loves to sing than it is to get together for the devil and satan's fucking kill money and have them all tell you how fucking great you are and wave their flagpole rags and sing their fucking war songs right okay guys i love you let's hold this up i don't think i'm gonna go into facebook we'll, we'll check into it but i seriously doubt it okay guys i love you very much